We haven't seen too much snow yet this winter, but rest assured it's coming. The Byron Forest Preserve is getting ready for sledding season. Dylan Srocki spoke with the department. Dylan, they're making sure everyone can have some fun on the hill. Yeah, that's right, Eric and Hannah. A new community resource for local families should allow more people to get in on the action. This is a nice, very family-friendly sledding hill, and it's just a really good location for, uh, for a designated sledding when we have the snow. Soon, some popular winter equipment will be made available to families free of charge at the Byron Forest Preserve. They're teaming with the local Rotary Club to create a community sled shed near the Jarrett Prairie Center. Some people have kids that have grown up or maybe they have got a new sled or they have a better one or they have a plastic sled that they don't use anymore. They can drop it off and put it at the shed or, or just leave it here for people to use later on. The Rotary Club raised roughly $2,000 to pay for the building materials. Volunteers with the Forest Preserve are working on construction. We have a Wednesday, uh, Wednesday morning uh, retired woodworkers group that um, does these community projects and we've done things for schools and the libraries and things like that and this is just another example of them finding a woodworking project that they can help with the community and, and uh, be able to build it and save a lot of money. So we actually build it with some really good carpenters. Rotary Club members say supply chain shortages and increased popularity for outdoor recreation meant some Byron families were hard pressed to find sleds last winter. The hope for this project is to ensure everyone who wants to can enjoy the hill. It's just a nice community thing because I imagine there are people that don't have sleds of their own and, and when they come out here they want to have something to use or they might have many, many kids and not enough sleds to have everybody able to go at the same time. Rotary Club is looking for donations to stock the shed before the first big snowfall. You can find a list of locations where you can drop off equipment at mystateline.com. Hannah?